Alright, so welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to do an update on my Project Pan. Um, I haven't posted a video in a while because I had to move again, and I'll have to move again in a couple months. Either way, um, let me move this, but um, I couldn't use my big um, lights anymore. Um, so I had to buy a new light, and I was just waiting on that to come in, which came in yesterday. Um, so I have my ring light now. Um, you can see like the little ring in my eye instead of like the, just the regular box lights. Um, so yeah, yeah, just a lot of stuff happened, and now I should be back to normal filming, if not even more than I used to. Um, so yeah, let's get into my Project Pan. Alright, so let's start with the things um, I used up, because I think that's a little bit easier. There's only three. Um, so the first thing is that Ciate um, London the Extraordinary Translucent Powder. Um, I even took off that little like sifter and got all of it left um, in here. There's only just like the stuff on the sides that's still all poofy. But I did finish that up. And then I also um, finished up the Elizabeth Ma um, face primer, the um, Think Me Later primer, just that little sample that I got. I wouldn't buy the full size. I think it kind of makes me break out. So, but I did finish it. So, and then um, I had in my first project pan, it was just half um, of this that I had to use. And so I did... Um, finish that up and then I actually started my um, my next one that has this so we will get into that but I did finish this up and I just used it as like a foundation kind of, like instead of those glass palettes that are like $30 or whatever $20 I don't know um, I just use the tops of basically empty things so yeah those are the three things that I used up so far and then this is what I was talking about I have one more of these wet n wild um, contouring palettes in Dulce de Leche and so um, I am making progress on this. I don't know if it'll. Um, so there's, it's kind of just getting more textures. It's getting closer to the bottom. Um, I can start to see the little ridges of the pan. So I am getting a lot of use out of this and this should be done within this year as well. And then what's actually exciting for me is this blush. So this is that Burt's Bees blush, um, Burt's Bees blush and toasted cinnamon. And this is honestly one of my favorite blushes. I think it's like $12. Um, but I do love this blush. I'm wearing it today. Um, but I may actually hit pan on a blush, which <laughs> for me is really hard. Um, I've only gone through one blush, and I use that every day basically for the year. Um, but I actually did hit pan on this, so I have hope that I will be able to at least get pretty close to finishing this this year. All right, and then up next is just that foundation. I will kind of open it. Um, for you guys to maybe see. Um, I am about, uh, yeah, you can't, um, but it's it's about to here um, on the bottle, so pretty much halfway through. Um, it is a lot heavier than normal, and I mean, it does wear really decently well, so I'll try to get more use out of this in the summer, but I do like it. Will I repurchase it? Probably not, um, but uh, yeah, I think it works fine, and I'm almost done. All right, let's move on to another thing that I'm really excited about. Um, it's that little peak blush that I have in Abu, and I am pretty much almost done with this cream blush, which makes me very happy because I kind of realized I don't care much for cream blushes that much, but... Yeah, I'm almost done with this, and then I won't have to deal with it anymore. All right, and another product I've actually come really far on. I'm almost done with this. Um, there's honestly barely any left. Maybe, um, I don't know, like 10 uses at most. I'll kind of like squish it up in here so you can kind of see. Um, but there's only like a thin layer left. Um, I'm about, a f there's maybe a fourth left in this little jar, so... Um, I will be done with this soon, hopefully by the end of the summer. All right, so let's move on to the concealers. Um, the NYX one, I did have to take off the stopper because it was actually not letting basically any of the... There's a lot of product in here still left, and the stopper just kept taking all the product off, so I was just getting basically irritated. So I took off the stopper, and I've been being, I've, have been able to use it more. 
And then the Ulta Youthful Glow Concealer. Um, this honestly still has a lot left in it as well. And so what I've been doing is using this as an eye primer um, to set my eye basically. And then mixing these two to fill in under the eye. Um, so yeah, that's how I'm just trying to fix them more because this one's too light and it doesn't give enough coverage. And then this one's a little bit too orange. So mixing them together basically is best way to use it up. Alright, and I'm going to be honest, I forgot this was even in my project pan. I had used it a lot for a while, and I actually even took off the stopper so I could get more product. And um, then I kind of forgot about it. So um, it's about halfway done, so I'm going to try to focus on this a little bit more throughout the rest of the year. I still have basically half of the year left, so I'm going to try because it's really a nice base for eyeshadow. Alright, and I have three products left. Um, this one I could have gotten a lot farther on. It's the Katie Cat Gloss in um, Catalope. Um, I am wearing it today on top of lipstick. It doesn't look that bad. You just have to watch out for your teeth. Um, I don't really like it on top of lipstick that much, but I did want to try to use it. And so, uh, yeah, I put it in a purse because I was like, I'm going to use this all the time. And then I started working from home, and the purse that I usually took to work, I forgot this was in there. And so I just stopped using it. So, yeah. I'm going to put it probably like on the top of my desk here so I remind myself to actually use it. Okay, up next is the Wet n Wild um, Lip Scrub. And I think ugh, I'm about halfway done. I got a pretty good um, amount done in it. I think I'm going to actually put this in my bathroom. There's barely any left in here. If anything, it's not even, it's a little bit less than half. Um, so I'm going to put this in my bathroom and um, basically use it at night before I go to bed. And then I can put on like a lip, um, I guess like, what is it? Those lip treatments that you put on at night to help your lips while you sleep. So yeah, I'm going to go put this in my bathroom and I think I'll get more use out of it because I do use it sometimes before I do my makeup and stuff, but it's kind of messy over here when I do that. I have to have like tissues and everything to get it off. And so I think it would just be easier if I left it in my bathroom and used it before night. Okay, and then last is the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. And I was using this a lot, like at the beginning of the year when I was still going to work and then basically we just stopped wearing makeup because we were all stuck inside and what's the point? So, but before all lockdowns and this virus and everything started getting crazy, um, I did get a lot of use out of this and so I actually went through a lot of that gold shade which is called Gold Getter and so I went through a lot of that. I actually went through a lot of the um, gray shade as well, which is state all day or slate all day and then um, the other ones just a little bit um, kind of dense in them, but I think if I focused on this a little bit more for the rest of the year I could probably get um, I could probably hit pan on this red one. It's pretty close um, and then I could probably hit pan on these other two shimmer shades, but probably not any of the mattes, maybe the white one, but the mattes are kind of hard because, yeah, they're pretty pressed down firmly, so there's a lot of product to go through. But yeah, that is it for this project pan. I think for what it is right now in the world, um, going through three products and pretty much halfway on some and hitting pan on others. I think that's an accomplishment for what it's worth since I'm barely wearing makeup nowadays. I was wearing it basically at least five days a week and now I'm wearing it one to two days a week. If I film something now I will probably wear it more and then I've basically just gone out a couple times um, and that's just to see like when I had to move and stuff. I don't know. There's just been random times where I had to wear makeup for like Zoom meetings and things like that. So yeah, hopefully the rest of the year goes a little bit better and we can all start wearing makeup again because half of the mask is our face. So but yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed my update on my project pan and um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe and see my other videos and whatever you want to do. And I will see you guys in my next video.